what? Some of you just don't know the story and just making up lies. And I was kicked out. I was never kicked out. Um, I always had a good name. I've never fornicated or did anything outside of the rules. Um, I always had a good name. I've never fornicated or did anything outside of the rules. Well, this ain't, we don't want this to turn out to the best whole house in Texas. There's a disease called Blue Waffle. I don't know one time I've heard that before like two years ago. I have never heard of that in my life. I know everything that happens with the whole story of my IUIC. All right, break it down. Okay, so there was a female that was in IUIC. She was married to one of the head, I guess he was a general or captain. And they accused the young lady of committing adultery, I think. Right. And, um, and then they were making other accusations because they were concerned. She confronted them about things that was going on with them that wasn't right. Right. And so then they wanted to pick her out of the school. The blue doctor is supposed to be like the STD, like it's supposed to be like the upgraded STD that they made up. Well, this ain't, we don't want this to turn out to the best whole house in Texas. The blue doctor is supposed to be like the STD, like it's supposed to be like the upgraded STD that they made up. Well, this ain't, we don't want this to turn out to the best whole house in Texas. They're saying she committed adultery, and they're saying that she contracted a venereal disease. So they're trying to say the venereal disease is called blue waffle. I'm still lost. A bunch. If there's some venereal disease that people call blue waffle, because the vagina turns blue. Well, this ain't, we don't want this to turn out to the best whole house in Texas. Are speaking up about the corruption that is going on with their, with, with IUIC. Slow down. Be slow mm -hmm. now. Slow down. <laughs> there was a man that slept with another man. There was a man that slept with another man. Yeah. The bishop sent me a naked picture of this brother's penis. Then what started this in the IUIC? There, there was a situation with a man sleeping with another man, and I guess they didn't handle the situation. So did those, and so wait a minute, slow down. So did those brothers say, I'm leaving because there's a man that's sleeping with another man? The bishop sent me a naked picture of this brother's penis. But there's a there's one member, his name is Big Judah, I believe, in the group. And I know he spoke about the man that slept with another so man. Did those, man. So did those brothers leave when that brother said he slept with another man? Is that why they left? The bishop sent me a naked picture of this brother's penis. So did those brothers leave? when that brother said he slept with another man. Because now these allegations of the bishop are coming up. Did those brothers leave when that brother said he slept with another man? Because now these allegations of the bishop are coming up. Did those brothers leave when that brother said he slept with another man? I don't want to be associated with that shit. Did those brothers leave when that brother said he slept with another man? I don't want to be associated with that shit. Did those brothers leave when that brother said he slept with another man. I don't want to be associated with that shit. A naked picture of this brother's penis. I don't want to be associated with that shit. Did those brothers leave when that brother said he slept with another man? I don't want to be associated with that shit. A naked picture of this brother's penis. A naked picture of this brother's penis. A naked picture of this brother's penis. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to the elect, the true men 
of the most high labor and sincerity and truth. Okay, um, what can we say about the woes of Israel united in Christ? And I believe the biggest part of their whole organization is when they made fun of the name or made light of the son of the most high, man, Yahweh okay? So now, Proverbs, the first chapter, I believe 26 first, say, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And Nate has got to be in fear. It has got to be something inside him saying, I'm losing, okay? Now, if you see, can't see right now that at this stage of the game that this is an occultic group, then, uh, you know, and for anybody to say they're trying to link this particular group with the whole Israelite community, so to speak, look, man, you got occultic groups in the church, the Christian churches, okay? You got occultic groups throughout America. So it has nothing to do because it's in the Israelite community. We expected that. Esau got his hand in everything. But anyway, going into this thing, uh, I don't know if it was a rumor with this uh, blue waffle thing. I've never heard of it till now. Uh, with this thing, also they kind of linked it with Gina Blue. I, I don't know. These are the rumors, and I, and I, as I said before, there was a lot of rumors going around that I couldn't really say that I, I I've heard, but now they're just all coming to light. Okay, they're all uh, pretty much coming to pass. You know, or what these guys are doing. Uh, this is one wicked group. Okay. I'm going to just read a quick clip because this blue waffle is supposed to be some form of STD. Say it's a rumor. But it's been confirmed by WebMD to some degree. So I don't know. So, you know, the feminists are trying to cover it up. The Lord is just bringing all kinds of diseases out, man. And, you know, when something turns blue, it basically means it's being starved of oxygen, you know. And we know how women today get down, okay? Especially these type of women that they're letting in their organization. It says the internet will tell you that blue waffles are sexy transmitted diseases that girls get when they have too much sex. They'll say that the STD is called blue waffles because the, the girl's vulva and vaginal areas turn blue. There's no sexual transmitted disease that will turn a woman's vagina blue. But um, when I kept reading on it, there was... And you know what? Why do I want to keep reading on that anyway? I, you know, the whole point is, um, uh, in fact, when you look, like I said, when you look all over the internet, there is cases of it. They're claiming it's from uh, yeast infections. And at any rate, there's some things that go on and they even got pictures of it, which I definitely wouldn't post that. So it's definitely something that's real. I don't know how to what extent, but this is proven that there's all kind of adultery going on up in this school. This is what's, what's been happening. Let's go to Sirach 23 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. Okay, such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Okay, that's even that blue waffle. <laughs> all right, anyway, just, just messing around. Um, but the Lord is revealing. See, these men don't believe that the Lord sees all this madness that's going on, okay? But the Lord is revealing even those secret parts, <laughs> okay? All the adultery. Look, man, now all these alleged allegations, there's nobody on this planet that could be charged with so many allegations and something isn't true. You can't tell me there's no way on Yahweh's Yah Yahweh Shah's green earth that all these things, well, polluted earth now, but that all these things that are alleged against this group is not happening. Something, some of that is not correct. True, some of these women are bitter. And uh, you gotta understand, just like the celebrities of the day in, uh, uh, you're dealing with the celebrity world, they know half of those men are homosexuals. Hell, they arrange marriages. They know about those secret secret parties. But you know what happens? When they get mad at those men, then they start spilling the beans. 
and then they start telling everything, okay? So anyway, there's another alleged allegation, which we're putting it together because Nate is sending penis pics, and all of a kind of, he's, he's bringing up things about this is not going to be the little whorehouse in Texas, slamming the spam and all that stuff. That means to tell you there must be a problem if they're continually saying that. Gina Blue, I have no idea what she's doing and what she's done, but to try to clear her name, meaning maybe they shamed her with it, or maybe she has some guilt. Maybe she was doing some things and she said, no, it wasn't me. Maybe they're practicing orgies in that school. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, you know, I wouldn't doubt it. There's probably all kinds of stuff going on in that school, man. Uh, Luke 8, it goes to Luke 8 and uh, 17. It says, for nothing is secret that shall not be made, made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and overcome. And when you keep going into the scriptures, even things that are good is being manifested and things that are evil is being manif manifested. Okay? So the alleged gay al uh, al uh, allegations, I wouldn't doubt it. Now, this woman telling the truth, I don't know. But... These are cultic rituals. Nate sending pictures of uh, penises and discussing the, the anatomy of horses. I mean, we could put all these things together. All you got to do is fit the puzzle and put the pieces together. Now there's uh, alleged rumors or allegations of uh, sexually transmitted diseases, blue and purple waffles flying all through there and, and with the... Uh, the waffles with the syrup. <laughs> I mean, he got all kinds of things that's going on in this school. I mean, what else? I mean, how much more do you people need to see that this place, these people are bugged the hell out, man? Okay? How much more do you need to see? How much more do you need to know about what goes on in this group, man? Okay? I mean, I'm just going to make a short video. The intro said it all. There's nothing else to say. I'm just, you know, it's, everything's got to be under edification and through scripture. So that's when the commentary on it. These guys are wicked. Okay? Let's go to Psalm 73 and 8. It says they are corrupt. And, you know, we, we read these scriptures and automatically this, these groups, they speak on the white man. See, this is the problem with our people, man. The first thing you want to do is get on me and brothers like me for exposing our own people. You know what they tell me? I'm an agent. I work for CIA. I'm for the white man. Every time, it, you know, our people never want to take accountability for anything they do. It's always our, uh, the white man's fault. It's always Esau's fault. You can't get a job. It's Esau's fault. Okay? You can't get your driver's license. It's Esau's fault. You know? You can't eat healthy to some degree. It is Esau's fault. I mean, how many things are we going to keep saying is Esau's fault? Of course we all know everything is Esau. But damn, the scriptures 30 and 7 of captivity is returning. Now they, the so-called white man is going through hell. The regular white race, they're going through hell. So who fault is this? Who fault is this, man? To have some gay orgies and, and male uh, homosexual uh, activities going on in this school. Passing women around and passing STDs around. Who fault is this, man? And you people are, ought to be ashamed of your goddamn self for calling me a goddamn agent when all these people are coming out. Hey, whatever I'm speaking is all because of alleged allegations of rumors being brought out. I didn't just make this shit up. What the hell wrong with you people, man? Anyway, they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully, okay? That's what this guy Nate's doing, man. You know? He's, he's, he's currently oppressing you through the purple garments, saying, come out, of, come out of her, my people, and come to him. He's the new Christ now, right? See, he hates the name Yahawashah, so that's why he goes with that name Christ. So he's telling you to rest with him. Don't worry about the microchip. Don't worry about the prophecies. Don't worry about the uh, Jacob's trouble. Don't worry about the famines and the New World Order. He said this. I, I'm not making this up. Nathaniel 7, or Bishop Nathaniel, he has so many names. These people have aliases too, man. 
Just like that goddamn Sasha Fierce. Okay, and Beyonce. These guys, this is all part of their game. This is their gig. Okay, this is their ritual. They all have to have those names, man. Okay, look up the Illuminati. I used to study this before I became in the truth. This is what these guys do. That's why they have all these aliases, man. That's why they have all these names. Because they killed off the old one and here comes the new one. So when Nate was in that trench coat doing the work and he came back posing saying Nate is back, that's when you know he sold out, man. And he changed his name quite a few times. Anyway, let's go with this word lofty. Lofty. Uh, it says uh, elevated in character and spirit. Okay. Elevated in status. Superior. Having a haughty, overbearing manner. Okay. Uh, and that's this guy, Nate. Okay. And it really goes back to haughty. Okay. That's this guy, Nate. This guy has orgies. Passing women around. I don't know about orgies, but they're passing women around. They're passing diseases around. They're having homosexual activity. And everybody in those elite or in those uh, um, the Illuminati puppet, because they're puppets. They're not the elitist Illuminatis, but they are, they're controlled by the puppets. That's what they do, man. That's how they get down. And when, and when he took that payoff, he had to take everything that came with it. Okay, so I'm not going to make this any longer. I just wanted to bring that out. Everything is being exposed on this group IUIC. It's all coming to pass. And anybody who's following this group, this is right now, besides GLCC, and they're probably a little worse than GLCC because these guys are now claiming uh, to, um, that Esau is not going to make it. They are claiming that, but they're having gay activities up in their schools. They're worse. That's like, that's like the worst of a two-third. Who's blaspheming the name of the Lord. This is what these guys doing, man. I, I don't know who's worse out of these in that other group, man, but I, I'm kind of leaning towards how you I see right now has to be the worst of all Israel that's out there uh, claiming to be Israelites, man. And don't lump us all in as all one West ABC camps, which we are. But don't lump us in with this group, man. We ain't passing women around and having homosexual uh, relations and all the other madness that goes on in this camp, extorting men for their money. Okay, all kinds of crazy shit that goes on in this camp. That's all I have on that. Shalom.